This is the Bay Area's news station. Cron 4 News at 8 starts now. Now at 8, the devastation unbelievable. Four days after one of the most powerful storms ever recorded hit the Philippines, hundreds are known dead, but officials fear as many as 10,000 people actually lost their lives. Survivors are desperate tonight for food, water, medicine, and news that their loved ones are alive. Catherine Heenan has a look at the damage left behind by Typhoon Haiyan. The sign is about the only thing left intact in the port city. The road to the town is lined with corpses. Winds and rain, twice as intense as Superstorm Sandy, pounded an area the size of the state of Montana. But in Tacloban, the real killer came from the sea. An unexpected 16-foot storm surge trapped residents as the waters rose around them. The first relief aircraft brought in supplies and airlifted out some of the dazed survivors. I cannot say anything yet. I mean, still in shock. On this Veterans Day, these U.S. Marines put the first American boots on the ground. For the survivors of Tacloban, help cannot come fast enough. This is really, really like bad, bad, worse than hell. Catherine Heenan. Cron 4 News. And happening now, the deadly typhoon has prompted an outpouring of support from people in the Bay Area. Cron 4's Justine Waldman is live in San Francisco tonight, one spot where donations are coming in to help victims of that typhoon. Justine. Pam and donations will still be accepted here at the West Bay Center until midnight tonight. This is a huge disaster and it needs a huge community response. The, the response has been overwhelming. From boxes of macaroni and cheese to cans of baked beans, donations by the bagful keep coming to the West Bay Filipino Multi Service Center on 7th Street. West Bay can help you. Organizer Rudy Assertion wants to send about 700 pounds of goods to people in the disaster zone. I expect that within the next 10 days, uh, I'm going to fill this food place up all the way up to the raptor. Non perishable food is great, but items needed most first aid kits, flashlights, batteries, and baby food. The community is coming together. My family's from the Philippines, you know, so. I'd seen that and I was like, I got little ones, I gotta go help. It's just a terrible tragedy and my wife and I thought we could help out even if it's just a small donation. Even two San Francisco supervisors dropped off a donation. We were talking to San Francisco residents that have family members who they have not heard of yet. Uh, and we're all praying for their safety. Uh, and I think everyone wants to just do their part to be helpful. All over the world we have natural disasters and they're all incredibly devastating and it's important for the entire world to pull together. Just like when the inevitable disaster happens here, we're gonna wanna have help. Some kids gave up their own fishing poles so children in the Philippines could use them, saying now they can get food for a lifetime. Yet every box, can, and dollar bill counts. It shows that you know, the human heart is always responding to the human needs, and that's, that's a good thing. And you can see the huge pile of donations that have been coming in since the students who run an after school program here decided on Sunday that they wanted to do something to help. So again, as I said, they are accepting donations here at the West Bay Center until midnight tonight. The address is 175 7th Street here in Soma. And they're gonna mail all this off first thing on Tuesday morning. But if you still wanna make a donation, they'll be accepting them all week long from 10 o'clock in the morning till six at night. That's their regular business hours, but they want to get all this stuff to the people in need in the Philippines as soon as possible. Live in San Francisco, I'm Justine Waldman, Cron 4 News. New at 8 tonight, the Red Cross is apologizing tonight after tweeting this picture. It shows the typhoon superimposed over the U.S. The goal was to show the huge size of the storm and help solicit donations, but tonight the Red Cross says it made a mistake and the storm 
is not to scale. However, CNN did make a graphic that's said to be much more to scale. You see roughly the size of the typhoon just before it slammed into the Philippines. The U.S. obviously on the left. Outer bands of the storm stretching from Boston to North Carolina. And this is cool. The University of Wisconsin's Space Science and Engineering Center put this comparison together. On the left, Haiyan superimposed over the Gulf of Mexico. On the right, Hurricane Katrina at its strongest before the eye hits land. You can see Haiyan appears to be larger, significantly larger, with its outer bands extending from Mexico roughly to South Carolina. Pam. Stay with Cron 4 for the latest on typhoon relief. For more information and ways to help, you can find it all on our website, cron4.com.